The 3rd Army Division of the Nigerian Army, Maxwell Cobe Cantonment, Mukaba Barracks, Joes, has disclosed that it had uncovered a shallow grave where the corpse of the missing army officer, Major General Idris Alkali, RTD, was initially buried. The General Officer Commanding 3 Armored Division, Major General Benson Akin Roluio, made this disclosure yesterday during a press conference held at the Three Division Conference Room at the Ukaba Barracks, near Joes, the Plateau State Capital. According to him, the shallow grave where the late general was buried was a no-man's land identified by four different suspects at different times of arrest. According to Akin Roluio, the suspects took troops on the search and rescue operation to the spot where the alleged corpse of the missing officer was exhumed before it was reburied in a yet-to-be-identified place. He said, on 29 September, 2018, when the General's black Toyota Corolla car was recovered from the abandoned mining pit, those involved and those not involved in the killing of the senior officer held a meeting to relocate his corpse away from the community. This is because of the inherent danger it would attract to the community. Consequently, a ten-man team was constituted to relocate his corpse earlier buried in a shallow grave within the community to elsewhere. A specialist in preservation of corpse was contracted. The specialist assisted in exhuming his corpse from the shallow grave to elsewhere. Only few trusted members of the community knew where his corpse was relocated to. The specialist is currently in our custody. The book pointed out this was an attempt to cover up the heinous crime committed by the community. There exist other evidence and indicators that pointed to the fact that those who were involved in the killing of the senior officer are being supported and backed by community leaders within the Jurudu district, the book said. General Akin Roluyu added, Please note that four different sources not known to each other at various times took us to the open shallow grave where the senior officer was earlier buried but subsequently removed. Furthermore, sniffer dogs that have been cultured with the personal effects of the senior officer led us to the same open shallow grave. That was the only grave we were led to by different people and sniffer dogs. We did not go to any other grave as the operation was carried out based on credible intelligence.